Hi guys, it's Adam and just a very quick video today on using loyalty cards to your advantage. So I don't really do this in a big way, um, but I thought I'd do the video anyway. I have covered it slightly in a Thursday Talks video, but I thought what would be good is actually um, get, make, making a video on it so that then if I get a comment or I get a question about it, I can refer them to this video and it just adds to my sort of repertoire or collection of videos so then I'm not having to make even more videos in the future on these things so yeah thought I would just do this in a separate video so um, I, yeah I'd say I, I only sort of use a couple of gift cards if I was doing RA in like a huge huge way um, I would have them for everywhere I could possibly have them I'd get a bigger wallet I'd get one of them like ex you know one of them big big long ones with about 10 little tabs in for your cards and I would, you know, I'd use it to the best of my ability because any way you can save money in business is good and if it doesn't take a lot of effort then you should be all over it really so um, and having a few more gift cards in your wallet and just hand, remembering to hand them over that is not a lot of effort so yeah I, I'll show you a couple of the ones I have and I'll sort of tell you what what they give you um, and how you can then use that, that reward that they give you, to your advantage. So, I've got a Lego VIP card. It, I don't know why the hell they call it a VIP card. Anyone can get hold of these. That does not make you a VIP. It's so, what, it's so incorrect, fact, factually incorrect. But a VIP, is, you're meant to get given one of these. Now, if you get got given one of these and you, you were selected and it was like, a hundred people selected every year to get one of these, then it would be a VIP card. But oh, I've dropped it. Then it would be a VIP card. But really, it should say LVIP. Less a very important person because anyone can get these. But anyway, that's besides the point. So with this card, if you spend a hundred pounds or you spend fifty pounds, well, well, let's say you spend fifty quid, right? It's free delivery on orders over 50 quid, which is great. And you usually get a free gift with that. Not always, but you usually do. Um, and if you spend 50 quid, you get £2.50 back. You spend 100 you get £5 back. Now, also, there are, there are sometimes weekends or short periods of time when there's double, and I have actually seen triple points. So that would mean if you spent 100 quid, you get 10 or 15 pound back. So it's worth looking out for those weekends. Now, if you're big into RA and you're buying maybe, you know, you might not buy off Lego Shop at home like all the time because obviously it's retail price and you'd want to wait for discounts and stuff and things like that. But, you know, if you were spending 500 quid or so every couple of months, you know, you're, bit, you're fairly big into RA and you have a look on there every, every other day and, you know, you're looking for these deals and stuff. And you spend 500 quid every couple of weeks with them, uh, not every couple of weeks, every couple of months with them, then that is £25 extra. That is discounting um, if there is double or triple points, which there may be. Um, so when you, you know, when you get your 25 quid back, once the orders are complete, because the orders have to be complete and then you get your points in your account, um, you can then spend that 25 quid on whatever you like in that, in that store. Now what you might want to do is wait till your points build up to like £50 or £100, buy one of the bigger sets, uh, sell it on either eBay and Amazon and then get, get more money back basically from it. But if you want to just, you know, maybe you've got 20 quid, 25 quid in your account, buy a smaller set um, and then you can sell that one. So that's the way you make money with your VIP points card. Um, you, as I say, you will get, you will usually get your free gift as well um, if you spend over fifty quid. So you've got that as well, which is a bonus. Now, I don't know whether you have to have, to have a VIP points card or not to get a free gift. You might be able to get it without a VIP points card, but certainly that's another another um, thing to sort of be looking out for as well. Um, but yeah, so that's how you that's how you would go about that. All you need to do is sign up for this online. You get it in the post and then you can start buying and all you need to do is make sure you signed into your account online or you hand this over at the checkout at a Lego store and yeah, you can earn your, earn your points and you can, you know, you can get some, essentially it's cash back what you're getting, um, but it could also be, 
sort of called free money in a way. Um, and then you buy your set, obviously, and then you can flip it on. And that is pure profit after fees, obviously, and postage. Um, so, yeah, that's always good. And I, and also, you know, if you've got kids and um, you're buying on Lego Shop at Home regularly as well, then that's just trotting up your, your points even more. So, yeah, that's good. And I also have the Works one. And I actually bought something. Well, I bought three different items for 50p each, just some sealed DVDs. And I used all my points on that. Well, not all of them. I've still got a few on there. But I used my points on that. And, um, yeah, I got them for free. So they're going for about £6 each on Amazon, these DVDs. Pretty good rank. And I got them for free. So, I mean, yeah, you know, it would have only cost me £1.50 anyway. But, you know, if you were maybe mounting up your points and you maybe... And I have done this before and got things for, like, £5, £10 for free. And you're flipping them for 20 30 quid. You know, that's, pr that's pretty good. So, it does work out in your favour. And again, all you have to do is hand that over. And, and you know, you can find out how many points you've got online or also... Uh, you can just ask them, you know, at the checkout how many points have I got. So, yeah, that's that one. And also, not forgetting this one. Hang on. What's this one? Wait, Rose. What the? Because every reseller needs a free coffee. <laughs> yeah, also, wait, Rose. Just having a laugh. Every reseller does need their free coffee or whatever you want to get. I think they do still do the free coffee. Maybe if you're watching this in a year's time or whatever, maybe they don't. But yeah, free coffee with that. I don't drink coffee, but you know, somewhat. Every other reseller, I'm sure a lot of them do drink coffee. And you can get your free coffee um, just before or after you go around the charity shop. So that is another good one. Um, so yeah. That is the gift cards I use. I'm sure there are tons of others. I'd say just scout online. If you're a person who buys a lot from Toys R Us, RA, and you maybe you don't know whether they've got a gift card scheme going, just type it in Google. Have a look because it might be beneficial for you to uh, get a gift card. And for the time it takes just to quickly apply for it, receive it in the post. Or you can even do that in store. You know, I'm sure you can get it in store. Uh, and then you don't have to wait for the post. Um, but yeah, you do that, then you've got it in your wallet, and you just remember to hand it over every time, and, and that's it, and you've got money back, so, so yeah, that's that, I wanted to do a very quick video, and I will see you in the next one, so, thank you for watching guys, see you very soon.